What's up everyone, Adrian here, back at you with some more Hitman Absolution. Yes, you have joined the channel, The Game Guiders, it's an honor to have you with me. This is Mission 16, Operation Sledgehammer. And uh, the first thing we're going to do is to activate this alarm uh, and uh, go over here. There's two ways to take out this guard. Um, this quick way or a slow way. Uh, the slow way is to sit back down in the chair and uh, pretend you're still bound and then wait for him to turn around. But if you stand here, you can just take him out when he enters the door. There is nothing more of interest in this room, so that's basically the only thing. You can't speed it up any more than this. Okay, let's take his disguise. It makes it a lot easier for us. And now we're gonna do uh, what we always do, hide the body. I wonder how many bodies we are hiding <laughs> the complete game. 500? Ah, not that much. Right, okay. I'm going to use my instinct a lot because uh, I have been a real fan of it because it doesn't uh, do anything to your score. You can, I mean, it's an ability for Hitman and I can't believe I didn't use it more. Well, in the beginning your skill wasn't that high, so of course then it's not so much use. But now it's like maxed, so now we can use it a lot and I'm doing exactly that. The first thing we are going to do uh, is to get our silver bowlers and as you saw I picked up um, some medication, just if uh, the shit hits the fan, I can uh, go around and go berserk for a while before I die. And here's the new idol, uh, American idol, or maybe the Norwegian idol. Well, <laughs> maybe he would do uh, better in Norwegian idol, I have to be uh, fair to say that. The Norwegian idol is a joke. Anyway, let's pick up the silver bullers and hide them, I mean, uh, holster them as soon as you can, because they are, yeah, will be more suspicious of you if you're going around with weapons, of course. And now use your instinct when you're around that corner and grab the evidence and then go back to instinct like this. You have to hug the wall though. And and keep it on until you hit the door, like there. And just stand like that and wait for jail escape and then hit enter. That's checkpoint one. And now checkpoint two. I uh, found a very uh, fast way to do this, uh, if you feel it's too hard, or I don't think it's too hard maybe, but if you find it you don't have uh, the, the patience to, to, to learn the path, then you can still go that path, but you can do it a bit slower. And it just takes more time, but it's easier. Well, I don't know if it's easier, but anyway. Right, you saw what I did there. Uh, since we are in a uniform that doesn't, uh, they don't like, <laughs> or whatever, um, you will, uh, it's it's like you are in the suit. If you run, they will hear you immediately. That's perfect, because then we could use that as a distraction uh, and make him come over to us, and we could take him out here. It's a very nice place to take him out. There is, um, you're really hidden here. And now you run, uh, if you are in my timing, just run all you can in crouch, of course, right to get the evidence. Because now, on this timing, every guards are uh, facing another way. So it's very easy. Now grab this bottle. Oh, you don't need to. You can grab a piece of brick on top here, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Right, here you can, uh, you have two distractions now, because you have a, a bottle and you have this uh, brick. But we are using it, we are doing it another way. Uh, if you're fast enough, you can actually pass between those two, like that. And now we need to go to distract because there is a guard facing us. And when you go down this stairwell, stay to the right side, all to the right. And hug here and jump over. And now we are just... And be sure to be behind this window like that. Because there is actually a guard over there that can see your head from a distance. And don't worry, they won't turn this way. They are completely useless. <laughs> so... Um, and uh, talking about uh, useless guards, uh, watch this next room. That's kind of stupid how, how easy it is to pass them if you know the path. Right? I've skipped the first pa part because when you restart the checkpoint, you will, you will start where I started. And also, I would recommend you to do that if you're going on my timing. Because if you restart the checkpoint from the beginning, uh, then, uh, well, like, if you start the checkpoint from the beginning, this uh, this uh, won't work because the, the patrol they will patrol in another timing. That's the, actually goes with most of the missions. I always start them from restarting the checkpoint, so I know that I got get the same uh, path every time. And as you see, I mean, there is four guards uh, guarding that area where he is actually doing that SWAT move. And it's like, yeah, is there anybody there? Uh, well, if there was, I think maybe one of the other five guards in that room would see it. But anyway, <laughs> and yeah, yeah, don't look to your left. 
No, don't look to your left. I mean, that's stupid. Yeah, right. Look there. Where there's all the five more guards. <laughs> and uh, I touched him in the side and he was like, somebody touched me. Hmm. Maybe nothing. I don't care. So, yeah. Completely useless. But nice for us. It's easy to pass, right? Now we're going to uh, distract this one because he's looking the way we are going. Uh, be sure to throw that hammer over that re uh, that what? barrel, st stable of barrels, or whatever you call it, stable, it's not a stable. I can't find the English word, but I'm suddenly useless in English, don't mind me. But throw it over that thing with the things in. So he goes behind that, because then we can move freely out, and we're going to checkpoint number four. Yeah, checkpoint four. And I thought that was here. So I have actually never done this part, because when I see that I've done the checkpoint, I I restart it to uh, to uh, do it with Bandicam and record it, uh, but yeah. Anyway, I found the route, no problem. <laughs> As I mentioned in other movies, that's how I work, I take checkpoint by checkpoint. Okay! Here you can just run. Uh, if you are trying a suit only, of course you cannot, but that's, I think you already know that. If you are going for suit only and purist, then you don't need my walkthroughs. Then you would go to pure natural. He's doing it in suit only. I am doing it and in my way. I hope uh, you think that's okay too. Uh, I try to keep it as quick as pre-natural or maybe quicker sometimes, but of course it's easier to be quicker when I can use disguises like this. Now you see how I move. Um, uh, you saw him. This is all about timing. Now we have to wait for this guy to turn away, and don't jump too quick. Then, we'll, then we we'll actually hit him in the side, and he will turn uh, turn around and look at you and think, "What the hell?" And now you can run and go behind the counter here and throw the knife. You, uh, I picked up, so I picked up a knife and then pick up another knife. We need that later on. Of course, if you don't have a distraction, you can always use your guns. To shoot in the f uh, somewhere, but the, the thing is that they make some sound. So if you're too close to people when you shoot, they will hear that somebody shoot shot, and then uh, they will move in a completely random path and pattern, and it's everything's making it makes everything a lot more difficult. Now you saw my timing there. Wait for every dead guard to turn away on the edge there, and then run, and then use your instinct here until you hug this, and then grab the evidence. As you saw, the reason why I throw the knife is to make him turn away so he doesn't look right at where the evidence is. And then use your instinct again to pass him again. Behind here. And now is the clear path, except for this guard. Don't uh, don't be too hasty here, because if you're too hasty, he actually can see you in the side vision, and uh, that's too bad on the last guard of the mission. Now, this is actually checkpoint 5, but it doesn't count like 1, so it's actually just the end of the mission. So it's no rating on this, it's just uh, the last part of it. And there's a lot of nice cutscenes here, but as I do in all my walkthroughs, I cut them away because I want to keep this as a guide. And then you don't need to see the movies, you can do that when you play your game. And I absolutely enjoyed it, it's a com it's very good. And when you hear that Ave Maria in the end, that's fucking great. Right, when you enter this church, you, will go, uh, you are in instinct mode already, so you can just uh, point and shoot like you do when you used instinct to aim at somebody. Okay, that is mission 16. Uh, hope it was satisfiable as usual, and uh, if you like, like, uh, please subscribe or leave a comment. I would be honored to have you uh, as a, a walker, uh, amongst the walkers, as I say. Uh, I'll post mission 17 as soon as it's... Uh, as soon as it's ready. Okay, <laughs> have a nice day. Hey! hey.